What's up, everyone? It's Jeff from NerdBacon.com back here at the Evo 2018 show floor in Las Vegas. We're here with what is a, a, a highlight on the product end. I'm um, speaking with Dave here from Arcade One Up. David, how are you, my friend? I'm well, thank you. How are you? Good. How, how's Evo treating you thus far? So far, so good. We've had a really packed booth. I'm really happy to see the positive reaction about Arcade One Up and the world's first consumer arcade cabinet. Yeah, let's talk about this thing here. So, this is the main event here. These are the idea is to get the arcade experience in your house for a more practical purpose. Exactly. Yeah. So for three ninety nine. Uh, most retailers are offering these guys at that price point, MSRP, a little, some are a little different. You can get a riser, you can get a stool. And what we're offering right now is, as I mentioned earlier, the world's first consumer arcade cabinet. So we have four here. We have uh, Street Fighter, we have Asteroids, we have Rampage, and we have uh, Centipede. Each comes with uh, three to four different games on there as well. So the, so the base model is, is this, this model here with yeah. the stool, does that come with it or is that extra? So that's sold separately. The stool's going to be about $20 depending on the retailer. The rise is about 40 depending on the retailer as well. Right, and that's what you're seeing here with the, with the rise, with the, the ones, in case you prefer a standing experience exactly. or sitting the Japanese arcade experience. Exactly, yeah. So these guys are a three-quarter scale arcade cabinet. They stand at just under four feet tall. Uh, we have a riser that brings it up exactly at the gameplay height that you would find a normal arcade sitting at. Now, okay, so let's talk about uh, t the tech specs here. What sure. what kind of joysticks, buttons, you know, gates, brands, what, 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 hardware-wise, what are we talking here? Okay, so we worked with the original licensors to get all the authentic joysticks and buttons. Whatever they ran on their cabinets, they gave us the hookup, and we are running those same things on our cabinets. I want to make note that what a lot of gamers are going to be expecting are Japanese cabinets, and these are more based off the American style cabinets. Yeah, that's why it's it's more the the uh, the American style art as far as the you know the Street Fighter and the asteroid stuff looks as well. Now we got Street Fighter, obviously. That's why we're here at Evo because we got the Street Fighter collection here, asteroid collection with Lunar Lander and Tempest and all that stuff. Yeah. Is there anything that's being in, in the pipe that you're willing to uh, to divulge to us. We can't actually talk about uh, certain titles uh, publicly. Happy to give you guys the exclusive here at uh, Nerd Bacon. There are some titles we are announcing in the near future. 2018 is looking great. 2019 we have a lot of big titles as well. Nothing we can actually talk about right now, but happy to work with you guys in the future on those. Awesome. So how, how long has this been a project, a, 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 the genesis of this began when? Well, just over a year ago, uh, the CEO noticed there was a gap in the arcade uh, industry so right now you see a lot of full-size cabs they're refurbished they run you about two to three K depending on the mo uh, which which cabinet you want to go with and then we have the tabletops the small the tiny arcades they're a little more affordable but they're still not that authentic arcade experience so one day he decided why don't we try and fill that void I would say the biggest difficulty for the CEO is actually tracking and the team sorry was tracking down all the original licensors because as you can imagine, in the 70s and the 80s, they didn't actually have that that electronic trail that we could trace back easily. You're knocking on doors, you're calling people, you're chasing down who has the rights for Midway now, who has the rights for Asteroids. So that was probably one of the biggest hurdles, as well as getting all of these uh, licensors on board. So what what's your personal favorite machine? My personal favorite is over there, I believe it's the uh, Rampage machine. It comes with Joust. I don't know if you guys are a fan of Ready Player One. That was uh, my favorite book, my favorite movie. I watched it three times in theater, and just the Joust incorporation there, and actually being able to play it in real life, it's just like I'm living the movie, you know? So that's my favorite. Exactly. Now, we're here at EVO, the biggest fighting game tournament in the world. Yeah. Fighting game fans are very vocal about what they like and don't like about things. If things are a little bit off with, with latency and with lag, they'll, they'll tell you about it yeah. um, in, the, in a nice way, I'm sure. So how, how's the reception been from the fighting game community? It's actually been really good. So this is the closest you can get to a cabinet's authenticity without running emulation, without running analog. So we're in our own little gap here with proprietary software. But what I'm going to say is, it is down to the T. The only thing missing right now are the ads. We took out all the ads, the FBI warnings not to do drugs, the Coca-Cola. Um, but what we kept was the lag. So we took out the game lag and all the gamers were like, you can't do that. Capcom's like, we're not letting you push this forward if you take away our lag. If they wanted to play games without lag, they'd be playing Street Fighter V, or they'd be playing all the newer games, but this is going to be authentic down to the last lag. I'll tell you, from experience, this is a great feeling. Now, also on here, I'll notice the on-off switch on here, as well as a volume on-off switch, so you can put this in your house or an apartment and not wake the neighbors. 
Exactly, yeah. So these are actually designed for your home. The three-quarter scale, uh, the size and the affordability. So as I was mentioning, $399, uh, all major retailers. Uh, and sooner or later, that price is going to go down depending on where you're looking. Um, and yeah. So so where? where can I, so major retailers, so GameStops, Walmarts? Target, Bed Bath & Beyond, FYE. I can buy this with my lotions. You can buy that with your bed. You can buy that with your bed sheets. You can buy this anywhere you want. And arcade1up.com will have all the information on retailers as well. And and roughly what time are we thinking that these will start being in stores and mass produced out there? So you can pre-sale right now. And September 25th, we're going to be shipping to 50 countries. And, and all of these out the gate, these, these are your launch titles? These are our top four launch titles. Uh, just to be clear, we did have final fights slated for this year, and it's being pushed back until uh, 2019, unfortunately. Well, David, thank you so much, my friend. No we, we wish you all the, all the best with this. This is a really cool thing. Awesome. Thank you very much for having us. And, of course, uh, nerdbacon.com. Keep it locked here for more coverage from Evo 2018. Keep it here and game tasty.